everyone. Welcome to WhatsApp Soho. Hi Amos. Hi Anika. Thank you. Last few sessions were really helpful. Mm -hmm. I got good feedback on that. Uh, now, uh, since lockdown is over and post lockdown phase where uh, life is slowly getting back to regular routine, right. there are few other challenges. For individuals uh, like me, okay, currently the major challenge is managing finances. Oh, okay. Like uh, we have some taxes to pay, there are some investments, Correct. liabilities are there, loans are there. Right. Uh, so, can you help us uh, in uh, guide us in those issues? Okay, so we are going to see three things today. Okay. okay, first is loans, then taxes, and then the investments. Okay. okay. So, starting with loans, the most important aspect I think we have discussed this earlier as well is restructuring your loans and repaying them on time. Hmm. Okay, wherever right. possible. Okay. Yeah. Although huh, there have been right. moratoriums been given by banks and institutions. But it's best that you plan such a way that you are paying out your uh, dues on time. Bit by bit, it's fine. No issues. Mm. Yeah. But uh, we should be structuring our loan in such a way that we are paying them out regularly. Okay. okay because they are going to draw interest and right. get fees later on. Second thing would be avoid borrowing to repay the huh. loans. Yeah, because yes. this will be an eternal debt trap. Okay. okay. So that should definitely be avoided. And third thing which you can really do is go and meet your bank, meet your bank manager. Okay, they will be able to guide you better mm. in ways of how you, how your loans can be restructured or probably refinanced. The second one is the taxes. Even uh, unfortunately, the lockdowns happened when the uh, financial year was ending, mm. so right. tax liabilities were also there. So you've got direct taxes mm. like your income tax, you've got indirect taxes like GST, sales tax. Mm. Right. So those liabilities are also there and they need to be paid as well. I'll be a bit late but they have to be paid. So that has to be planned. So please check out, please list out your uh, dues in that direction as well. Again, meet your financial uh, consultant, accountant or CA. The third thing is investments. Okay. Now, investments is one thing that should not stop. I know it's going to be tough, yeah. it is going to be tough with cash flow issues and all, but it should not stop. I mean, this, this could be a big mistake that we are doing, that if we are going to stop our investments to repay our uh, liabilities, mm -hmm. okay, so we will have to create that balance, balance right. where we are, we, are, we are staying invested mm -hmm. and at the same time we are trying to create a, uh, close out our liabilities as well. So that investment uh, thing should be on. Okay. But two important aspects of these investments is one is you must look at short term liquidity. For example, mm. please in the next six months, mm. if there is another crisis situation or another lockdown comes in, mm. how prepared, how liquid money you have mm. so that you may survive for that situation, mm. those stressful situations. Mm. Okay. And, uh, and the second thing is, do we have a midterm plan? So for next 36 months, okay. what kind of liquidity you may have? So that's why I think you should sit down and chalk that out. That would be a very, very prudent way of uh, managing your investments. investments. And of course, again, talk to your uh, financial advisor. Okay. Talk to uh, experts in the field. Okay. And uh, they will be able to guide you better. Uh, in fact, in fact, mm -hmm. we are going to, going to get experts in these specific domains. That would be great. Yes, we have your friends and associates who will be very happy to uh, put up their words, their expert advice okay. in these various domains and we can uh, feature them in our upcoming uh, videos. Thank you Amod. Thank you for uh, this tip of this session. Uh, now we will move to our next session of Tech Byte. In last session, uh, Trupti really explained very well about uh, WhatsApp business. So let's continue with her. Uh, on further features on the same line. Welcome to WhatsApp Soho Tech Byte. And today's Tech Byte is about what is a business profile on WhatsApp business app. Your business profile is one of these business specific tool in WhatsApp business that helps you to establish a formal business presence on this WhatsApp platform. So let's see what it includes.
your profile includes your business information that is your name the brief about your company you can add a location your business category then you can assign the uh, your working hours also you can have a website and email address and contact details then there is a feature called as a catalog where you can showcase your products and services so this makes easy for your customers to access the complete information about your company also most importantly it helps you save time and energy allowing you to focus on what really matters to you is connecting with your customers and growing your business check out the business profile uh, on the whatsapp app whatsapp business app if you want to know how to go about whatsapp business app installation guide so you can click on the link at the right hand corner of this video or you can check in the description if you have any queries regarding this video please write to us in comments or email us at business@zoomyourtraffic.com for upcoming videos subscribe to our youtube channel till then bye bye thank you trupti thanks a lot for this wonderful information amol thanks for joining this session and giving us very valuable tips my pleasure and viewers do write to us if you have any queries stay tuned and bye for now bye